Okay, Matthew 13, 44 through 46. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in the field, which a man found and hid again. And from joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls. And upon finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. When, when we were reading in uh, Philippians 3, where Paul was talking about how he had all these, all these things, you know, all these, these accolades and, and things of the flesh that anybody would have considered great. Um, that kind of reminded me of this scripture. I was going to read this anyway, so it worked out great, you know, with Philippians 3. Um, but this, um, you know, the, the, the preaching of um, easy believism, um, super grace, um, just try Jesus, just, you know, um, just add Jesus. Your life's already great. Um, you know, obviously the whole gospel smashes that it, tear, it tears it down, right? Like a stronghold. But when you, when you look at this, the kingdom of heaven is like a, a treasure hidden in the field which a man found and hit again. And from joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. I mean, that's just, um, what a beautiful picture um, where there's, there, there's no, there's no greater treasure for us than Jesus Christ. And um, do we ever forget that joy, the joy that you felt when you first realized that you were born again? I do sometimes, you know, um, and I'm, an, I'm ashamed of that that sometimes I tend to forget it or just, Oh yeah, well that was, you know, that was almost five years ago and now I'm here. Um, but we shouldn't, we shouldn't forget that joy. And again, in, um, in verse 45 and 46, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls. So is the merchant seeking the fine pearls or has that merchant been drawn by the Holy spirit? Because in verse 46, it says, and upon finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. So that, that to me looks like the Holy Spirit drawing the, the merchant um, to find the one pearl of great value. And then just like the, um, just like the man that, that bought the field, you know, he sells all he has to, to buy it. Yes, Apostle Paul also, he said in Philippians chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. But what thing would gain to me is I have counted loss for Christ, in verse 8. Yet indeed I also count all things loss for excellent of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. For whom I have suffered the laws of all things, and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ, is testify how in Christ was Paul also in this uh, passage. And you got to remember the Lord's grace, and remember that you are forgiven. Same way. Ponzi's always saying you should be the most joyful person in the world. Yeah. Absolutely. If if the Lord grants salvation to somebody and never does any never does anything else for that person, he's done enough. Right. And we see that with the thief on the cross. Yeah. He gave that guy salvation and that guy still died. Yeah. Someone might say, why didn't Jesus bring him down from the cross? Why didn't Jesus give him a second chance? Why did it's all these whys, 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 why, why? Salvation is enough. Right. Bless them with right. eternal life. That's right. Right after, yeah. 